Welcome to Network 13, and today we're going to learn about JFETs. A JFET is a junction field effect transistor, and it consists of a channel made of semiconductor material. It could be N or P type. I'm using N in this example. There is a contact at the bottom, which we call the source and has a lead connected. There's a contact at the top called the drain with another lead. And then we have a piece of P-type semiconductor material. It's diffused into the channel, which has a contact, and we call this the gate. Now, this is a PN junction. That's where we get the junction from. And it's a depletion mode device. And we have a depletion region between the P and N material where the excess electrons in the N material and the excess holes in the P material will combine and deplete this region of charge carriers. Now the whole idea behind the JFET is that you can control the width of the channel and therefore you can control the amount of current through the channel by varying your gate to source bias. Now you reverse bias the gate to source junction here and as you reverse bias this depletion region will get larger and larger and larger and the channel width will get narrower and narrower and the amount of current will decrease and at some point called cutoff or pinch off the depletion region will completely block the channel and you won't have any current flow at all now the parameter of interest in a JFET or, or any any FET, for that matter, is called transconductance. And transconductance is the change in current drain to source for any given change in voltage gate to source. And the curve looks something like this as we take the gate to source junction more negative, the drain current will decrease. And if we take the gate to source voltage less negative or towards zero, the drain current will increase. So if we have some operating point on this curve and we were to vary this gate to source voltage, we would see a corresponding change in the drain current here. This is the circuit we're going to use in our experiment today. I have a Fairchild J201, which is an N-channel FET. I have a fixed 5-volt power supply with an ammeter. And I have a 1K resistor in the drain leg. I have a variable supply that will give a negative bias gate to source. And I also have another meter measuring the gate voltage. What we're going to do is we're going to vary the gate voltage and we're going to observe the drain current and we're going to see at one point we should be able to get the drain current to go to zero and at another point drain current will go to maximum when the gate voltage is at zero. Okay, I built our test circuit which is the Fairchild J201 and the 1K resistor on a wireless breadboard. This is a 5 volt supply. Um, back here is the variable supply I'm going to use for the gate. And this meter is drain current. Right now it's about 2171 microamps. And this is gate voltage, which is about minus 4 millivolts. Now, as I take the gate more and more negative, you'll see the drain current will start to drop. And what's happening is that the depletion region in the channel is getting larger and the ch channel width is getting more and more narrow and that's allowing less and less current to get through. And if we bring this gate voltage to, let's see where it is. I don't want to overshoot this. If we bring the gate voltage high enough the drain current should go to zero. Let's see, almost there. I 
Let's see. And we'll call that zero. So right now with the gate foliage at minus 1.94, the drain current is essentially zero. So the channel is completely depleted of charge carriers at this point, essentially an open circuit. If we take this back the other way, oh, too far, we take it back the other way and we reduce gate to source bias, the current will go back up. In my next video, we're gonna build a linear voltage amplifier with a JFET. So we'll have to find a suitable operating point on the transconductance curve. Well, that's it for our JFET experiment for today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.